What's going on everybody? My name is Noah. Welcome back to the channel. Long time no see. My bad. Uh, fall 2024 bass fishing has been super hard for me for some reason. Um, so yeah, that that's why I haven't been uploading. I've been, I've been fishing. I just haven't been catching. Not a lot anyways. Um, so today's video, I'm just going to go over a couple of my, some, couple of my uh, past kayaking fishing trips. And I'm just going to share um, the techniques I was using, kind of my thoughts behind um, what I was doing and all the times that I got bit basically. Um, definitely came in contact with a lot of fish and also somehow didn't end up hooking a lot of them. So that's kind of annoying how that goes. But um, today, October 27th actually, um, I was able to get a decent like two and a half, almost three pounder off a drop shot. Um, it was really cool. I was using side scan to find a uh, structure on the bottom, marked it, circled back and threw a drop shot in there and was able to catch them. So some pretty cool footage um, all around from these past trips. And I feel like there's a lot of information that uh, I want to share with everybody, especially people local to you know the Northern Virginia area. I feel like if you don't know what you're doing, this might be able to help you. But if you know what you're doing, you're probably having a lot better time than I am right now. Um, there's definitely a lot of people fishing like the same lakes and ponds that I'm fishing at. So I feel like fishing pressure is just always getting worse and worse every single year. So I feel like that might have something to do with it. Um, but yeah, this video is just going to be for anybody who doesn't have a pattern or anyone who's interested in what I'm throwing this time of year and what I'm thinking. Um, I definitely can tell that I feel like I feel like my pattern is is uh, is getting dialed in. I feel like I'm gonna start catching them in the next couple trips, like really killing it. So, um, you know, the water temps are going down below. They're at 60 right now. At least today they were at 60. Um, but yeah, as they continue to drop, I feel like these fish are gonna start to turn on and really start to feed before uh, for the winter. So good fishing hopefully coming soon we'll see um yeah I'm, I'm just gonna try my best uh to put out more content i guess and definitely more tip videos i think that's what i need to do instead of just like sharing my success of catching fish i think putting out tutorials for all kinds of fishing especially fishing that's going to be done like this time of year i feel like i i should be uh coming up with more of those videos if you guys have any recommendations let me know leave them in the comments and uh let's get started here we go i'm looking i'm setting up a perimeter of the outer edge of the rocks um just going around the outer edge and just putting a bunch of waypoints that way when i get to my main map i can get a kind of kind of a feel of how large of a, a rock field I'm looking at and how to line up my boat so that I can throw my bait like directly in it um, it's 10 feet of water and there's a whole lot of rocks down there and I definitely see some fish of some sort all right slowly creeping up to my waypoints keeping in mind of my heading line I believe it's set to 120 feet just to be safe not to like cruise right over my waypoints and i'm just trying to line that heading line up with my cast just bomb it out there let my drop shot hit bottom and just slowly working it back so yeah i'm just slowly creeping over getting closer let my drop shot sink all the way down just work that little six inch robo worm nice and slow Oh, 
come on. Yeah, that's something. I was definitely relieved that finally oh. it felt like all my efforts of coming out <laughs> and trying to learn how to use my sonar were finally paying off from oh, learning how to yes. read side scan and waypoints and yes. using heading lines and all that so I could oh, snipe this fish with a drop shot without using live scope. Um, may not seem that impressive for people who do this on the regular, but it's my first time having a sonar and kayak and all that. But I feel like all the research and the practice I've been putting in yes. really paid off today. How big is he, baby? Ooh, careful. 17... Three quarters. Nice. 17 three quarters. How big are you? Seventeen three quarters and two point seven seven or seven three. There he goes. We look at this screenshot we see that there's some sort of structure or something down there. I don't know if it's a bush or a tree or something. But right behind it and around it, you can see there's a couple decent sized marks, which makes me believe that there's either bass or some sort of larger fish. They're definitely not panfish. So I'm gonna definitely mark it and try and line up a cast. All right, let's clip here. Lined up, make a little cast, count our count down our bait, a couple seconds. I'm working an underspin and a little swim bait. Slow reeling it, nice and slow back to the boat. As it comes in. Miss a little baby snakehead. Oh, can't really no. tell, but I watched him. He only had it by the tail. It's really frustrating. Oh. This clip, anybody who fishes Burke Lake knows that's the outside uh, of the island on that steep drop off. And I'm just using the underspin, just casting towards the bank and reeling back. Oh my god. Got him. Woo. Yeah, so it wasn't the biggest fish, but. It still was able to put me onto the pattern of the fish being somewhat shallow and around the island. Ooh, yucky. Yucky, yucky, yucky. If you look at the top left, that's a bass blowing up on some shad. During the fall, bass will work together to corral as many shad into like a bait ball as they can and they'll just take turns blowing up on it. This is one of the reasons why finding bass can be so difficult is because they're just continually pushing that school all over the lake. They're not really staying in one spot. 
Here you can see me pull up the spook. Um, it's just my lure of choice whenever I see busting bait like this. Um, it definitely helps your lure stand out compared to the probably thousands of fish that are underneath the surface getting chased. Yeah, so no, here, when I went to set the hook, uh, my drag was way too loose, and I felt like I didn't get a good enough hook set, and I ended up overcompensating and completely locked the drag down, and when I went to set the hook again, it Jeez. definitely ripped the trebles right out of the fish's mouth, there so definitely a goof on my part, and really frustrating. Yeah, so here to the right of my top water, this... I, it looks like a bass just decides to flop out the water. So obviously, I make a cast over there real quick. Just like that, it got bit. Got him. Um, I don't know if it was the same fish or not, but this fish came up and hammered that top water. This was a couple days before uh, the previous clips, so I definitely was not aware that they were schooling on little fish yet, which could be the case. The the, the bait balls could have been under the water surface. That's kind of cool. All right, here he goes, little guy. That's the end of today's video. Uh, thank you guys for staying to the very end. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, hope it was informative. Um, if you guys see me in public, say what's up. Peace.